Morning guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a new video. Trying something a little bit new today. I never start showing my face. I always start the videos off and I just thought we'd try something a little bit different. So let me know if you do prefer this. Today we are gonna be back on the little Fiat 500 and we are hoping to get this nailed out today. You can see Chris has just been in here putting all this up, basically trying to protect it. I'm not gonna be doing a lot apart from obviously being on fire duty because obviously we don't want it catching fire and it does create quite a lot of sparks. We have now got two welding masks and we don't know what one to use today, but we are gonna crack on and get this welded up. So Chris is gonna start down here, down this edge, and then obviously do these two seam welds, one across there, one across here. Um, a bit I wanted to pick up on, a couple of you did say, how did we get that cut line? How did we match it up so that we got that straight? And the answer to that is, this new panel was slightly oversized. And what we did was a tape line with some masking tape, got it absolutely bang on where it was gonna join, and then we removed the panel and cut across the tape line. And then when you put it on, it tallies up like that, absolutely perfect. So we are gonna crack on, get those all welded up. There's a bit to do around the back light, obviously, as well, down there. And then obviously all of these welds up here. We are gonna be doing this side and then we'll remove all of the cardboard and then put it on the inside to stop the sparks coming out of here to prevent them going in, in the car and obviously starting any fires. So let's get on with the video. Try and get this done today because the painter, I have rung him and all I've got to do is park the car up by the gate once it's done and he is gonna come along and collect the car. So that car can go up to the paint shop and the next video will literally be fitting it back up and taking it out for a drive and actually using it.
Nearly there now guys, probably another three spot welds on that bit there. And that'll be done. Hopefully this is coming out right. Obviously I've got a mask on and I'm trying to see it the best I can. One left there, Chris, but there is a little bit of glue on it, yeah. still I couldn't get off, so... That quarter light window spot welds all done. So we have to run. Oh, we've got one screw in there we need to take out and do that one there at the end. But that's it. Very, very nice. This camera over that's on time lapse of Chris on the same. Keep standing right in front of it, I saw. Really cracking on with it. I didn't want to time lapse me sitting there grinding it up. Chris has still got that seam well to do, and the ones down the back. But we have only got one massive sheet of cardboard that we're going to use to put inside the car. So Chris said, you know, grind these ones up now, which I've just done. Just got to tidy this up a little bit more, wait for the battery to charge. All these ones are all run down and that one there's run down. So once the battery's charged on the grinder, I can finish those off. And then we're done there. We can use this bit of cardboard, put it in the back, and then we can go around here because we don't want all the sparks splashing and getting inside the car because I didn't remove the back seat in the end. So that is the plan so far. And we seem to be moving on with it really, really quickly and it's all getting done. So.
those final spot welds on the bottom of the seal and the quarter panel will be completely finished. We are all finished now on the welding up and uh, everything's all ground back. So literally, it is just the case. I'm gonna whip round now. Chris just grabbed a bit of cardboard. We're gonna go behind, prime up all these welds. I'm gonna whip that wing off because we have run out of time. I'm gonna whip that wing off tomorrow, face up the inside edge here, get it bolted back on there, do this inside edge. And then I'm gonna ring the painter and get him to come and grab it. So, so far, so good. I'm gonna prime that up and then we are gonna run out to the focus because I have, I did start using it again from yesterday and I chucked those seats back in. Quite a lot of you was anxious to see what they did come out like. So we do this and then we'll pop out to the focus. I'm and I thought I'd just quickly come out here now while it was drying and show you. They come out absolutely incredible. There's no stains on them. Well, there's a little bit of a watermark here, but we can just wipe that over with a damp cloth and that will disappear now. Just show you the back seat. Again, it has got some water marks on it, but obviously I didn't jet wash down this side edge of it and you can really can see the difference, but it just looks so much better. And that horrible smell that it had is completely gone now. Even the roof lining come out quite nice. So this one is pretty much, it's pure laziness really. I haven't got round to bolting the new mirror on it, but I've got a new mirror for it, casing, and the glass. I'm going to be using this cap. And literally, all I've got to do is pop that on, advertise this, and it is ready for sale. I should have done it by now, really, but that's that. Let's go back to the field. Prime it up. All of the welds prime it up. And literally now, it is ready to go to the paint shop. I'll do that wing off camera. There's no point me showing you it again. I'm just going to be painting the edges of it. So next time we see this car, it is going to be back from the paint shop and we're gonna be building it up and repairing it. Again, I did say that I was probably gonna be doing the plastic welding on the front bumper. We're not gonna get time to do it in this video. Now this video is pretty much coming to an end, but I will do that front bumper in another video. Maybe in one of the LSE videos, we gotta weld that up now. I think that's next. We may have one other video coming up before that, but apart from that, that is how we got on today and we're quite happy with what we achieved in the day. That fits absolutely lovely. And that door gap is absolutely spot on. So I can send this up there and then get it back, get it done, start using it, sell that focus. And then I'll be running around in this for a little while until somebody wants to buy this Another one. Another very productive day on the little Fiat 500. And I'm glad now it is done. I haven't got to really do anything else to it until it comes back and we'll be doing a little headlight repair on one of the headlights, one of the lugs is broke, I've got the kit for it. We're gonna be doing that front bumper, etc., etc. I'm not gonna go on about that anymore. Been quite a successful week, to be honest. We've got quite a lot done. There's not gonna be a Sunday bonus video on the Morris, but there will be something for Sunday. We're gonna think of something and do it tomorrow for you so that it is ready for Sunday. That is gonna be the end of today's video. If I have missed anything, Leave it in the comment section and I'll make sure that it's in the next video. Quite a lot of you do always keep asking about the tools that we're using on the job, like that um, Makita grinder that I've been using for everything and the drill. So I will put the links for them in the description, sorry. And the welder maybe. Um, waffling away. That is the end of the video. Check out the merchandise. The link is in the description for the little sneak peeks throughout the day. Instagram, it's Selvage Rebuilds. I want to thank each and every one of you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please do give it a thumbs up. We really appreciate it, and it shows your appreciation. Like, subscribe, and share. Thank you all again for watching, and watch this space. Something very exciting coming soon.